In Cape Education Department has been in crisis for years. Maladministration and a shortage of teachers, just some of the challenges. The effects were demonstrated when the province posted the worst matric results in 2011. In 2010, it was placed under national administration. Today, the provincial government cut ties with Manya. Whether I am wrong or right, uh, the main focus should be children. And I think part of what we discuss with the Premier is <clears throat> even if I have done my job, which I have done, but what happens to the interest of children in the environment? Manya, during his tenure, was criticized for his management style. His staff, the ANC, Satu, Cope and Basic Education Minister Enji Mutsekha wanted his head. The ANC and Satu have welcomed the move. While we respect the confidentiality clause in the agreement signed by both parties, we take this opportunity to appreciate the work done by Advocate Manya during his tenure at the helm of the department. The today's announcement is one step towards contributing to parties coming together to find a lasting solution to these challenges. Minister Motseha will meet with the Premier and unions this week to try and resolve salient problems. Thousands of pupils are still without textbooks, meant to have been delivered in January this year. Lumko Chimlongo, SABC News, Bisho.